Hello students, welcome to the series of mathematics lessons. In this presentation, we will study about 5 digit numbers. 5 digit numbers. Before moving on to the 5 digit numbers, now let us revise some of the concepts that you have learnt in the previous class. Let us take a 4 digit number 2687 2687. 7 is in units place. 8 is in tens place, 6 is in hundreds place, and 2 is in thousands place. 2687 could be written as 2 into 1000 plus 6 into 100 plus 8 into 10 plus 7 into 1. 2 into 1000 is 2000, 6 into 100 is 600, 8 into 10 is equal to 80, 7 into 1 is equal to 7. When we add all these numbers, we will get 2687. So, we can represent a number in this fashion as well. After studying this unit, you can able to read and write 5 digit number. Recognize the value place of digits in 5 digit number. That is what we saw in this page. Representing a number in units place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. We will apply the same principle here. Then we will expand the 5 digit number according to the place value of digits and write the numbers in the standard form. We will see this later. Arrange the numbers, arrange the 5 digit numbers in ascending and in descending order. Finally, skip numbers for a given 5 digit number. Now let us take example 1. Sanjeev has collected 9,999 agarbatis and bundled grouped together. 9,999 could be written as 9 is in units place. In, unit, in units place, Sanjeev placed 9 agarbatis. We can see in the units place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 agarbatis is in units place and in the tens place we have got 90 agarbatis why because in the tens place we have 9 which is nothing but 9 times 10 90 agarbatis now let us look at now let us look at the tens place in one bundle we have got 10 agarbatis so 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. In tens place, you have got 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 10, 40, and so on till the 90th. We got 9 in the hundreds place. So 9 times 100 is equal to 900 agarbatis. In the hundreds place, we have got a group of 100 agarpatis, 100, 100, 100, 100. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 into 100 is equal to 900. Finally, let us look at the thousands place. In thousands place, we have got 9. So, 9 into 1000 is equal to 9000 then sanjeev's father gave him one more agarbatti so how many agarbattis does sanjeev have now before sanjeev had 9999 agarbattis now his father gave one more agarbatti so totally how many agarbattis do sanjeev have now let us see in the units place we have nine agarbattis when we add one agarbattis we will put one in the units place. When we are adding numbers, we should place the numbers accordingly to their places. Since one is in units place, we will place one in the unit place. So 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. How can we write 10 in the units place? We cannot write 10 in the units place. So we will carry 10 to the tens place. So, we will carry this number 10 to the tens place. We put 
a bundle of 10 agarbattis into 10's place. If we put the number 10, 9 plus 1 into 10's place, in units place we have got 0. Units part is over. We have left with 0. Now let us come to the 10's place. Already in 10's place we have got 9 bundles of 10 agarbattis. And from the previous place, from units place, we have got 10 more agarbattis. So, this 90 agarbattis plus 10 agarbattis from the units place is equal to 100 agarbattis. We cannot write 100 in the tens place. We will put this number 100 into 200s place. If we put this number into 100s place, now we are remaining with 0 agarbattis in the tens place. Now we are done with the tens place. Now let us go for 100s place. In the 100s place, we had 900 agarbattis. In the previous step, we have taken 100 from the tens place. So this becomes 1000 agarbattis. We cannot write 1000 in hundreds place right so we will follow the previous approach we will put hundred into thousands place once we put thousand into thousands place we have remaining with zero in hundreds place previously we had nine thousand agarbattis now we have carry of thousand agarbattis from the previous step so nine thousand plus thousand is equal to there is no place to write 10,000 here please do ignore this we will write 0 in the thousands place since we cannot represent 10,000 in thousands place so we will put the carry to the 10,000s place so this becomes 1 in the thousands place we have remaining with 0 in 10,000s place we will write just the carry 1 that is 10,000. When we add 9,999 with 1, we will get 10,000. Now let us convert from numbers to word form. Here we can see a number. This could be read as 10,001. This number could be read as 33,333. We got 33,300 plus 33 we can read this as 50,000 we can read this as 99,999 now let us read abacus abacus is an ancient chinese method for doing simple arithmetic there is a separate device or instrument to perform simple arithmetic this is the abacus device we can see here here we have got units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousand place. In the unit place, we have got eight beads. In tens place, we have got two beads. Each bead is equal to ten. So we have got two beads, ten plus ten, twenty. And in the hundreds place, we have got five beads. Each bead represent hundred. Hundred plus hundred plus hundred plus hundred plus hundred which is equal to 500 the same principle follows for the rest of the columns which is basically what we did in this example so the number could be represented as 40,000 plus 3,000 is equal to 43,000 43,000 plus 500 is equal to 43,500 43,500 plus 20 is equal to 43,520 43,520 plus 8 is equal to 43,528 now let us see formation of greatest and smallest five digit number let us see an example form the greatest and smallest five digit number using the digit 94613 they are given five numbers we need to make the largest and smallest using these five numbers now let us form a greatest five digit number so what we will do is we will arrange this number in a descending order that is descending order means 
we will move from larger number to smaller number we need to sort these numbers from larger from largest number to the smallest number here we can see the smallest number is 1 and largest number is 9 so the first largest is 9 we wrote 9 here and the second largest is 6 we write 6 third largest is 4 we write 4 and fourth largest number is 3 we write 3 finally the last largest number we can call it as smallest number as well so the smallest number or the last largest number is 1 so the greatest 5 digit number is 96,431 without repeating any numbers we need to make the smallest 5 digit number using these 5 numbers in this case we will sort the numbers in ascending order that is from smallest number to the largest number ascending order smallest number to the largest number so what is the smallest number among these five numbers the smallest number is 1 the second smallest number is 3 third smallest number is 4 fourth smallest number is 6 and fifth number is 9 the smallest five digit number is 13469 without repetition the preceding and the succeeding numbers for a five digit number let us find the preceding and succeeding number for a given five digit number preceding means something before and succeeding means something after preceding means number which is before a given number and succeeding means a number after a given number what does it mean the given number is 83,653 what is the next number of 83,653 it is 83,654 this is a succeeding number now let us look at the previous number the preceding number the preceding number of 83,653 is 83,652 okay fine now let us take a simple example here you can see a number line say for instance Preeti is standing at fifth position the previous position where Preeti is standing is 4 so Prema is standing at 4 the succeeding number where Preeti is standing is 6 Neha is standing next to Preeti in this case 5 is our given number 6 is the succeeding number and 4 is the and 4 is the preceding number skip numbers here you can see two stairs in the first stair frog is standing and in the second stair a squirrel is standing both are standing at the same position in these two stairs frog is standing at 13669th place and squirrel is standing at 13669th position squirrel can jump two steps here we can see squirrel can jump from this place to this place from 13,669 to 13,671 we have got two places squirrel can jump two places from here to here from here to here here to here here to here and so on whereas frog jumps three places frog is standing at 13,669th place it can jump to three places on the first jump it will jump from 13669 to 13762 in the second jump it will jump from 13762 to 13765 here you can notice 75 minus 72 is equal to 3 72 minus 69 is equal to 3 now we need to find which of them is going to get the food which of these two is going to get the food can you guess squirrel is going to get the food because since squirrel is jumping two steps at a time when it comes to the 13,677 it has to make two jumps right if it makes two jumps the squirrel will land on the food step whereas in the case of frog once it land on 13,675 it will jump to 13,678 since the skip number for 
frog is 3 it will jump 3 steps from 13,678 it will jump to 13,681 if it jumps to 13,681 it obviously misses the foot since the foot is kept at 13,679th step so frog is going to miss the foot now let us now let us write skip numbers for the following here we can see numbers in a sequential manner 23,450, 23,700, 23,950. So, what is the skip number in this case? To calculate skip number, what we will do is, we will take the numbers, then we will subtract two numbers. In case of square root, we will take 13,671 and we will subtract with 13,669. When you subtract these two numbers, you will get 2. Again, when you subtract, the third number with the second number you will get 2 we will follow the similar approach here we will take the second number and we will subtract with the first number then we will take the third number we will subtract with the second number if we do this we will get the skip number now let us subtract these two numbers now let us subtract these two numbers 23700 minus 23450 we got 250 then we will subtract third and second number 23950 minus 23700 is equal to 250 so what is the next number to this we will add 250 to it we will get the next number so the next number is 23950 plus 250 which is equal to 24200 24200 is the next skip number now again if you take 24,200 and add 250 the difference you will get the next skip number and so on <laughs> the last skip number in this series is 24,450 the content of this recording is borrowed from Karnataka Textbook Society Bangalore under fair usage policy this video is presented by Avari Technologies please do hit subscribe button to get more content thank you